Hey guys, welcome back to Mass Effect. Alright, so, um, after hearing the horrible, horrible echo that I got in the last few videos, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have to, like, stop recording and begin recording again. Um, maybe that'll set things better with all the dialogue and the echoes and the other crap like that. Alright, so, let us finish this. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Time to test my sniper skills yet again. They may not be so good today, but we'll see. <laughs> Demolition charges. The guest must Wait, did I miss one? Was it like Hurry. right over here? We need to find Demi them all and shut them down. Okay, yeah. Well, you guys go right ahead and take care of those guys that I'm gonna have to. Whoops. Didn't mean to hit that button. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, wait, did I get him? I think I got him! Holy hell, I got him! <laughs> I, I'm really only this entertained because I've, I've always sucked at the sniper rifle, as I've said. All right, you need the, the boss to get in on this, huh? <laughs> oh, this is great, except I just missed. Damn it. Why you kill my ego? All right, we got someone over there still, don't we? Wait, where are they coming from? Well, I need to go... Uh, ah, hello there. I see you there. Come out. Wait, oh crap, there it is. Oh, wait, whoa, there he is. Or, there he was. Hold on. I think it's time to get the shotgun out. Damn it! God! Is there anything over here? I doubt it, but well, you never know, right? I don't see anything in the immediate area except this. Alright, let's take a quick look at that. At the armor. The Liberator, which is definitely not what I want. Unless Caden can wear it. Uh. Eh. Eh. Yeah, no, that's okay. I should probably. Oh, they don't have any mods for the um, armor. I guess I'll go with sniper. Oh, I, I did do sniper rifle, never mind. <coughs> um, after I was 
done with that, I went ahead and, um, modded it. There we go. I can talk. I swear. <laughs> Alright. It seems like we really don't have any... Hold on. We're gonna get this sniper rifle out. We are going to kick some ass. <laughs> anyone, anyone want to make an arrow in the knee joke and turn it into bullet in the knee? <laughs> oh, that's too good. Okay. Anyway, that it appealed to some of my Skyrim fans here. Ah, they're finally away. What? I just shot you. What the? I just shot him, damn it. Alright, I'll get the shotgun out since they may be coming up the. <laughs> yes, they are. Get up. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's a geth. Okay, hold on. Hello. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> All targets down. Alright, we good? We're good. Um, before I go to the beacon, there should be some upgrades around here. I just don't remember which side. Okay, in case that was weird, I just stepped and recorded stopped and re-recorded because I noticed the screen kind of freeze a little bit. Okay, here we go. Here's a crate. And we've got, oh, of course, <laughs> not that I'll ever really use Tally. I mean, not that I dislike her by any means, but, um, yeah. I just don't really have any need for her, I guess. I don't know. Alright, looks like there's a wall safe or whatever they call it in this game. Pretty sure, yeah, okay, storage locker, sorry. Oh crap. Ooh, I barely missed that one. Alright, now then, let's go. And get the beacon where fun things will happen. Fun things happen. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Oh shit. <laughs> this is going to be fun this next part. Oh, not this, but after this. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. <laughs> It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it.
That's what you call rage. <laughs> Doctor, Doctor Chakwas, I think he's waking up. Go away, Ashley. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Like the morning after shore leave. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. <laughs> oh, is she expecting me to say the Paragon choice? I expect better of my people, Williams. You endangered our entire mission. Don't be so hard on her, Commander. We have no idea if that's what actually set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I don't suppose it occurred to you that Eden Prime has medical facilities? Listen, you're better off in this infirmary than in any hospital on Eden Prime. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. Okay, if that was weird, I just stopped recording again. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm, I better add this to my report. It may... Oh, Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. I don't want her on my ship. <laughs> I'm the captain of this ship, Commander, and I want Williams on our crew. Damn. But I don't want her on my ship. Make her go away. <laughs> Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. I suppose. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. The Council can kiss my ass. <laughs> I won't let them blame me for losing the beacon. I didn't do anything wrong. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a spectre, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue spectre's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Oh, no. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness. Had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? Death! <laughs> I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. <laughs> They'll think I'm crazy. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Saren took it. 
But I know Saren. I know his reputation as politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the Beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a Spectre. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. Council this, Council that. You know, if there's one thing I do agree with Renegade Shepard with, it's his stance on, uh... The Council. When have they ever done anything for humanity? If we expose Saren as a traitor, the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Alright, quick save. Now we get to go talk to Ashley and, uh, Caden. Okay. After what happened to Jenkins, the crew could use some good news. They'll be glad to hear you're okay. You're not assigned to this ship. Captain Anderson had me transferred to his command. Must have figured I knew what I was doing. Huh. <laughs> You have a problem with me, Chief? You questioned my competence through the entire mission. <laughs> this is awesome. I don't remember this. I'm pretty sure. Wait, 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 wait. I think when I did my Renegade playthrough, I was considering romancing Ashley, so maybe I didn't go this route because of that. Best way to stop that is to show me you're competent. But I don't remember inviting you to come back to the ship with us. You didn't. Captain Anderson did. I need to go speak with Joker. Goodbye, Commander. Bye, bitch. I'll talk to her in a minute. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. What? No conversation with him? Glad to see you're okay, Commander. I'm pretty sure even if you go female, Shepard, um, you can still talk to Ashley. Maybe he's pissed that I was mean to her. Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. Aww. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired for the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Hayden's lucky. He just gets migraines. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. All right, now let's head up. I'm surprised I still know my way around the Normandy SR1. There we go, that's what I wanted. I suppose I'll talk to Presley.
I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. Oh, you care about the Asian man. <laughs> I'm serious, I'm gonna start calling him Dick Son. <laughs> It's totally against all of my beliefs of being a Weibo, but <laughs> that's just too great. Um, that Josh, too freaking like twenty different numbers after your name. At he, I give him credit of thinking of Dixon. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. I just realized that implies that there's like a galactic tax. Can you imagine paying like federal taxes and galactic taxes? Man. People would be so pissed. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying, you need firepower, too. Look at that monster! Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. 